friends, it's Arlie with Bike Shop Girl. I am building up a Voom 2 14 inch pedal bike for a customer and I'm about to do the free wheel upgrade on this bike and I felt like it was a perfect time to show you what the difference between a coaster brake and a free wheel is and why it matters. So the CPSC requires kids bikes of a certain seat height, I believe it's 25 inches, uh, have a coaster brake because they used to consider this a sidewalk bike. These days, I am a big fan of handbrakes, even on balance bikes, because it teaches a child to use their hands instead of their feet when they're balancing. Same case with this 14 inch boom behind us super low seat height, which means it has to have a coaster brake. So for 20 extra dollars, you can order a Voom complete wheel with a free wheel, and that comes with a tire, tube, everything like that. And it takes the coaster brake off because the coaster brake is attached to the rear wheel. So we switch out a completely new wheel. I feel so strongly uh, that free wheels are important and handbrakes are important that for the most part when a customer asks me how much a Boom 2 is, I include that upgrade price as part of the package knowing that 9 times out of 10 I'm going to be doing that uh, upgrade and here at Bike Shop Girl I don't charge labor for doing that upgrade because I'm typically taking off the wheels anyways to make sure they're true so I just switched that out. So let me show you quickly what a coaster brake is and then what a free wheel is. And I also wanna show you something really cool on the Voom, which is color coordinated hand brakes. So here's the Voom 2 14 inch first pedal bike from Voom and it has a coaster brake. And you probably have experienced a coaster brake maybe on your first bike, maybe on a beach cruiser, but what it means is that you can't back pedal and it's actually a brake. So here I am pedaling, 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 and then I pedal backwards to stop. Uh, this can trip up some kids, especially kids that are used to using handbrakes. And it, I do feel like it adds uh, some time to a child learning how to pedal for the first time because there's another thing happening where you know they can't simply back pedal or freewheel very easily and it can trip them up. So to remove the coaster brake, I'm literally gonna switch out the rear wheel. And you'll see in a moment, a free wheel allows you to backpedal. There's no foot brake action in this. So I'm gonna grab the new wheel and install it. Here is the wheel that comes from Voom with the free wheel. So you'll see the gear can spin backwards. It doesn't have a brake on the opposite side. This is how it comes from Voom, tire, tube, and freewheel. Uh, the $20 is well worth even just the tire and tube because a lot of bike shops don't stock these. And at this size, a 14 inch wheel, these kids typically like to skid because it's fun. Uh, so it's, it's worth just having the tire and tube around. The other nice thing about this wheel, it includes the button head Allen. You can kind of see they're not sharp and pointy uh, nuts like that come on their freewheel version because it that locks on. Um, just something small like that, reflective sidewalls like all their other tires. So I'm going to switch out this wheel for the wheel that's on there right now which has a coaster brake. And for that, I'm going to need a 15 millimeter, uh, the Allen, and then a screwdriver, a Phillips head screwdriver, or a small, I think it's a 10 millimeter open end to take off the brake. So give me a sec. All new Vooms have this really nice enclosed chain case. So the chain is completely covered with this SKS chain case. I love it and adds a little bit of complication when you're taking off the wheel. Just be gentle with it. It does come off nice and easy. So wheels off. I'm going to slide this forward a little bit. And 
So here is your coaster brake wheel. On this side is this arm that attaches to the bike frame and that's what actually uh, allows the brake to work. So if this isn't engaged, the coaster brake doesn't work. And then you're gonna just put this aside again, save it for the tire and tube, but hopefully you'll never need it. Here is my free wheel and all I need for this, it's gonna be a three way. Uh, you're gonna need a five mil to install this wheel. Make sure all the teeth are engaged on that chain with that chain looper. And then you wanna pull it back so it's snug, but not too tight. And I'm gonna snug down the right side first. And then I'm gonna make sure that the wheel is centered and tighten down the other side and then triple check my, my bolts, nuts here, and then engage the brake, and we should be good to go. Once that rear brake is engaged, just make sure your brake pads aren't hitting the tire now that you switched out the wheels. Uh, it could be aligned a little bit differently than when they set up the brakes, so just make sure that's aligned properly, uh, and we're ready to go. The very last thing I wanna show you on these Voom bikes will be the color-coded brakes. So this is the case on the Voom 2 and the Voom 3 where the right brake lever is green. And if your kids are anything like my four-year-old, in a panic, she doesn't know her right from her left, but she knows green. So I can yell green brake and she knows to use that to slow down or to make a sudden safety stop. So the green brake lever, which you can see behind me, is the right, and then the black one is the left. And not that it really matters, but the brake pads are also green, which is kind of cool, just a nice little subtle thing. So green brake lever, right hand, that is what they should be using most to stop. Hopefully this was helpful to know the difference between a coaster and free wheel. Uh, if you have any questions, if you're stuck trying to install one of these, reach out to the friendly folks at Voom or you can reach out to me at bikeshopgirl.com. Until next time, this was Arlie with Bike Shop Girl where we're empowering you to bike more and worry less.